Mars and the Snowflake, based on the true story. In the grand tapestry of the cosmos, where Mars, the East European shepherd, stood as a testament to canine resilience and playful wit, there laid another story woven intricately into his a tale featuring Snowflake, a Turkish Angora cat whose journey from the street to Mars's home added a layer of depth and wonder to their universe. Mars the Shepherd of Stars Ah, Mars, you might ponder. Like the planet? Indeed, the name carries a weight as immense as the celestial body itself. For Mars, an East European shepherd, living up to such an astronomical moniker goes beyond mere coincidence. It feels almost predestined. The parallels to his planetary namesake come with profound implications, interweaving his identity with themes of strength, endurance and mystery. Mars is more than just a loyal companion, he is a symbol of resilience. Much like the red planet which stands as a testament to both the beauty and harshness of the cosmos, Mars has his own story of triumphs and trials. Mars was discovered with a hernia the size of a tennis ball, an affliction that tested not only his resilience but also the compassion of those willing to look beyond his immediate challenges. Many potential adopters glanced at him and quickly moved on, citing the intensive care he required and the complications associated with his large breed. The scene was set for yet another heartbreak. But then, a family appeared, radiating the essence of harmony, friendship and unconditional acceptance. Their eyes met his, and in that profound moment, the barriers melted away. It was as if the universe whispered a promise of belonging and love, a promise that Mars had been yearning for. This wasn't just an adoption. It was the beginning of a soulful companionship. It was love at first sniff. It felt like one of those slow-motion scenes from the poignant movies humans seem to adore. The air was thick with anticipation and raw emotion. He didn't rush to them immediately after all. A dog's dignity must be maintained. He held his ground for a full 3.5 seconds, a testament to his patience, before launching himself into their arms like a furry missile, sealing the bond with joyous abandon. Their souls resonated in harmony, a silent affirmation of an unspoken pledge. In choosing Mars, they accepted not just his physical form but the spirit within, embracing the philosophy that true friendship transcends any earthly imperfections. Soon after, Mars found himself at the vet's office, a sanctuary buzzing with the electrifying promise of healing and transformation. The air was thick with scientific curiosity and emotional anticipation. He wasn't just another patient. He was being treated like royalty, a furry prince whose well-being had become a paramount mission for everyone involved. Every touch, every treatment was meticulously calculated, bursting with excitement and purpose. Could the latest advancements in veterinary medicine conquer his hernia? How would Mars respond to this intricate web of care and science? The veterinary team moved with a harmonious rhythm, their actions synchronized in unprecedented unison, all aimed at restoring Mars to his full glory. The journey transcended mere medical intervention. It was a testament to the boundless power of compassion and scientific inquiry. As days turned into weeks, the burden of Mars's hernia began to lift, replaced by an invigorating vitality. Was it simply the surgeries and medications, or was it the harmonious blend of science and compassionate care that facilitated his remarkable recovery? He wasn't just healing, he was undergoing an incredible transformation. Each day, Mars experienced life anew through a lens tinged with gratitude and exuberance. His surgical scar became a badge of honor, a testament to the loving hands and scientifically informed hearts that had meticulously nursed him back to health. And now, Mars stands as a living embodiment of health, happiness, and the triumphant synergy between science and compassion. Free from the shadow of his past ailment, he lives his best life, his eyes sparkling with enduring joy. Every wag of his tail resonates like a symphony of gratitude, a moving testament to the philosophy that love, harmony and friendship, augmented by scientific innovation, can triumph over even the most daunting adversities. Snowflake The White Dragon 
Mars's life, already a constellation of profound experiences, witnessed another radiant addition, Snowflake. Their story became one of survival, endurance, and unbreakable friendship. This is the story of Mars, the East European Shepherd, and Snowflake, a Turkish Angora cat with the heart of a lion. Their tale is woven with threads of excitement and unyielding friendship. It's a testament to the extraordinary bonds that can form between different species, a philosophical reminder of the unseen forces of harmony and connection that guide our lives. Mars and Snowflake's journey together is not just about two animals, but about how love, courage and destiny can intersect in the most unexpected ways. Based on first-hand accounts and observations, a dramatic tale unfolded stirring questions and scientific curiosity alike. In the peaceful cadence of suburban life, Mars, ever the vigilant guardian, was abruptly jolted by a near-tragic incident. What was that unidentified white streak narrowly escaping the screeching halt of a car? The heart-stopping moment culminated as a courageous furball skittered to safety in the bushes near Mars's fence. She was a tiny stray, her once snow-white fur now a map of her arduous past marked with the stains of hardship. How had she maneuvered through the labyrinthine dangers of the streets, cheating death by a whisker's breadth? The feline, trembling yet alive, sought sanctuary with a sense of purpose. Her collar, once decorative, now stood as a cruel reminder of neglect, a scar of a bygone life. The stray was street-hardened but remarkably resolute, her spirit battered yet unbroken. Unlike typical strays, she didn't flee in fear from Mars. Instead, she sought refuge in the bushes near his fence, as if she recognized a kindred spirit. What internal compass guided her to this sanctuary? It was as though she knew Mars was the canine equivalent of Superman, ready to unleash his sonic bark blaster at any looming threat. Her collar, once a simple accessory, had become a barbaric instrument of torment. The cruel reality of her past became painfully clear. The collar around her neck told a heartbreaking story of neglect and the passage of time. What was once likely a kind gesture, perhaps a family who had cared for her as a kitten, had turned into a tool of torment. As she grew, the collar remained unyieldingly in place, slowly, insidiously tightening its grip. Through the fence, Mars cautiously approached her, his body language a curious mix of protection and curiosity. Was there something in his demeanor that spoke to her, a silent promise of safety? This wasn't just a sequence of random events. It was a tableau of fate, a confluence of two kindred spirits brought together by circumstance a testament to the unseen forces of harmony and friendship that govern the world. It was as if he woofed softly. Don't worry, little one, I've got your back. Snowflake's sudden disappearance in the ensuing days profoundly affected Mars's behavior, sparking a cascade of questions and scientific curiosity. What caused this emotional turmoil in him? Was there an unexplored neurological connection that allowed for such profound bonds between species in such a short time? Mars frequently returned to the fence, sniffing around the bushes and refused to eat, showcasing a striking example of animal behavior and attachment. He waited at the fence, eyes fixed on the street with a mix of hope and anxiety, yearning for Snowflake's return. The fleeting encounter had left an indelible mark on him, prompting philosophical musings about the nature of relationships and how brief connections can carve lasting impressions on our lives. Then that fateful frostbound night arrived, etching itself into Mars's heart forever. The winter garden, transformed into a crystalline wonderland, received an unexpected and battered visitor, an almost unrecognizable snowflake. As Mars kept his nightly vigil by the glass door, a bundle of white fur suddenly appeared on our frozen patio chair. It was snowflake, but oh how she had changed! Her matted fur and cruelly embedded collar told a harrowing tale of pain and perseverance, a stark contrast to the pampered life Mars led. Sensing the urgency of the situation, Mars let out an alarmed howl, summoning his humans to the scene. But this was no joyous reunion. Snowflake's once immaculate fur was now a canvas of suffering, matted with blood and grime. 
The collar, which had once symbolized domesticity, had become a cruel instrument of torture, biting deep into her tender flesh. Snowflake was in dire straits. Each passing month on the streets had taken a brutal toll as she scrounged for food and sought shelter from the elements the collar had dug deeper and deeper into her flesh. It was a horrifying testament to her growth, grotesquely melding with her body. The constriction was so severe that when she tried to cry out, no sound escaped her throat, just a silent, agonizing attempt at a meow that never came. How had she endured such unimaginable suffering? What unseen forces had driven her back to us? This dramatic encounter underscored a profound harmony between fate and endurance, marking a pivotal moment in the intertwined destinies of Mars and Snowflake. In a flurry of lights and movements, Snowflake was whisked away to seek medical help. The hours Mars spent pacing were filled with worry-tinged hope, a profound silence punctuated only by his whines and earnest prayers to the great Dane in the sky. Snowflake's triumphant return was nothing short of bittersweet. Despite being scarred and missing half a fang, she embodied pure resilience. Her dramatic rescue marked the beginning of her journey toward recovery as she found solace and unwavering love in a wonderful, caring family. Snowflake's scars and partial fang became symbols of her strength. She earned the nickname the White Dragon. They shared a bond, Mars and Snowflake, knitting their hearts together in the cozy warmth of their united home. She may have been smaller, but her presence was mighty, commandeering Mars's bed and their shared dwelling with quiet regality. Their nights became a harmonized symphony of silence and purring, a beautiful testament to their newfound bond. Snowflake's rhythmic purrs interspersed with Mars's vigilant acts of guardianship. He would lay down next to her, both of them enveloped in the mysterious turns of life and the inexplicable beauty found in imperfection. In his eyes, you could see words left unspoken. You're a warrior, Snowflake, he seemed to say. Their connection was a thrilling dance of resilience and harmony, a poignant reminder of the transformative power of love and companionship. Snowflake, ever the dignified feline, would often respond with a purr and a playful swat a silent acknowledgement of the love and respect that flowed between them. This profound relationship inspired deeper questions. What truly defines our identities? How do our scars narrate our stories? And most importantly, how do we find harmony amidst the chaos? Look at them! At their vibrant coexistence. The kiss of the white dragon. Together they crafted a beautiful life philosophy. Joy is abundant, scars are badges of honor, and every day holds the potential for a happy ending. Their life was an enchanting tapestry of excitement, mutual respect, and boundless affection. Ultimately, their journey together underscored a fundamental truth. Life, in its grand design, is less about what's visible, and more about the love, resilience, and humor shared. And isn't that what truly matters in this beautiful, unpredictable world of ours?